Babbidi beam, babbidi boom. Ladies and gentlemen, you're back in the real, the real room. Uh, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> oh, um, different gravy today. Um, welcome back. It's episode eleven. Um, I saw, hopefully yesterday, uh, episode ten. I did the main event of Money in the Bank. And also the Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, spoiler warning, a lot of excitement. Um, I streamed it yesterday. Uh, thanks for everyone who came by. Um, got some excited plans for after SummerSlam. I'll tell you that for one. I'll be making an announcement on Thursday for it. But besides from that, we've got a great show tonight. We are currently three weeks away from SummerSlam and in these three weeks we got to decide who will be beating who's ass and then the night after SummerSlam we'll be having something interested across these shows eh? but anyways uh, I dwell um, tonight's Raw is going to be a very interesting one so let's get right into episode 11 of Monday Night Raw Yes, now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. We are in St. Petersburg, Florida tonight. Beautiful weather outside today. And a sold out stadium tonight. Oh, that's hard to say. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Raw. We've got an announcement from Brock Lesnar, if you saw yesterday's stream, you would know I had a very unpleasant phone call with this man. Uh, he has decided that he wants to announce which champion he is facing because he has a deal in, the, in his new contract which I was not aware of that he signed out with Vince, is that he can challenge any champion at any time and tonight I think he might come out and announce it who knows but he waited some time let's see what happens what on earth is he doing no I never get tired of hearing you guys, so thanks. Lately, I've noticed some anxiety spreading backstage. I don't know if it's if my management is having their weekly tantrum or it's something else, but I'm really not interested. Besides, because of what I have to say tonight is more important than all of that. I'm a man of action. Let my fists do the talking. Lately, some people have been running their mouths about me. They aren't saying anything to my face. Well, that crap stops right now. A man's accomplishment in life are a reflection of his willingness to do what it takes to achieve his goals. Maybe I don't have enough, maybe I've done enough, but now I've got my sights set on bigger and better things. So I think it's high time I put out there and announce to WWE that I make an official quest for a match at the next pay per view. I've played ball for a long time now, but it's time for me to rewrite the rules of the game. If I sit around waiting for management to get their heads out of their asses, by the time I get a title shot, I'll be too old to lace up my boots. So it's time for me to throw down and prove to everyone, both out here and in the back, that I am the next face of the WWE. I'm not surprised that any superstars would really dare to mess with me, but it's their funeral. They just better hope they know what they're getting into. I'm guessing... They don't because it's not a smart move. Andrade, Roman, my decision will be made tonight. And one of you is going to suplex A. Woo! Strong words by the beast tonight. First up, he's pissed off at management. Don't know why. And second off, he's making his decision tonight. 
So I'm guessing that was just him bragging. But the first matchup, um, we'll be skipping. The matches that we're skipping are that one, that one, and that one. The rest will be watched or played. This one will indeed be played by us truly, so let's get right into it. Let's get into the matchup tonight. Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe and coming out first the King Slayer, the Beast Slayer, the Architect, the Man, the Monday Night Messiah, Mr. Burn It Down himself, Seth Freaking Rollins. Oh 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 Jesus Christ <laughs> We know it was meant to face Samoa Joe tonight, but not this early <laughs> Brutal charge into the back of Seth Rollins. Joe, if he's getting Seth up for something here. Oh, powerbomb on the stage. Let's drop a nut out, Seth. Throws Joe. And Joe reverses. And I think he's trying to get Seth off the stage here. Oh, Seth with a reversal. And Joe with a reversal turns Seth around. Picks up Seth. Oh, Seth reverses an inverted DDT. Seth at ring. I'm guessing the match is going to start right now. Seth waiting for Joe as Joe maniacally walks down the ramp. Joe just taking his time. But Seth ain't having it. Oh, Seth is having it. Oh, Joe getting out of, do getting out of dodge there. And oh, what's this? Oh, tying Seth's, Seth's neck up on the rope. And a, soup, a dragon suplex. Joe used his timing perfectly and caught Seth off guard. Joe cheering to the crowd. But the crowd ain't having it. Now Joe throws Seth into the Oh! And it ends a gurry to Seth Rollins. Looks like Joe isn't messing around tonight. Oh! And a slam to the foot and an elbow drop which is missed and Rollins gets back up. Oh, Rollins, Falcon Arrow. Seth just stamping on the back of Joe, and Joe, what's this? A reversal and a knee to the face. What's he doing here? Joe picks up Seth. And a power slam. Cover. One. Kick out at one by Seth. Joe's become a different man these days. And a Uranagi! Putting Seth down. What a spectacle. We know Joe hasn't been all too happy recently. Oh, and a Izaguri again. We know that Joe will do anything to get into the main title picture. Because we know he wants Reigns badly. But he has to wait his turn. As management has told him. And he is pissed. So what's the second best option? Get his shield brother Seth Rollins. Oh a suplex by Seth. And oh a knee to the back. Oh jump with a reversal. And a oh a running drop kick. Seth now to the outside. This is where Joe does best. And a... You're a naggy. To Seth Rollins. And Joe throws Seth into the barricade. And... Oh, a suplex onto the barricade. And a... Kick to the face. Joe really isn't happy tonight. 
crawled back out to the ring. Had Seth. Oh. Joe with an enziguri. What's Joe doing here? Had Seth up. Fireman's carry position. Oh. And oh. Just rammed Seth into the barrier. Never mess with Samoa Joe. That's a certain. Oh, Joe in the corner. Just taught it as Seth watches from the outside. And Joe, oh, with a clothesline to the ref. Joe isn't happy with anyone tonight. Oh, what's Seth going to do here? Picks up Joe. And a, oh, Seth's going back into this one. And a sling blade. Jesus Christ. Sling blade by Joe. What by Rollins? Oh, Joe reverses. And a punch. And a dragon suplex. And a cover. One, two. Oh, Seth kicks out. Joe picks up Seth. Oh, and Seth. Oh, kick to the stomach. And Joe claps his head. And Judo throws him. Oh, picks up Rollins. And, oh, what's he doing here? Oh, repeated kicks to the face. Oh, and what's this? Oh, brutal flurry of punches there by Samoa Joe. And what's Joe doing here? Oh, an elbow to the chest. Oh, sends Seth to the outside. What's this here? Joe, again with a clothesline to the ref. What's he doing here? Joe's going to try and find something on the ring, but ref's already up. So what's he going to do here? A Euro... Oh! Seth reverses a Euro Nagy. And a punch. And a chop. And another forearm. Seth throws Joe back into the ring. Oh, Seth with a elbow drop. From the top rope. Seth picks up Joe. And goes with a ripcord knee strike. Seth with the cover. One. Two. Joe just kicks out before three. Brilliant show of strength there by Joe. Seth again for the cover. Kicks out for the counter two. Seth really not giving in here. Picks up Joe. And what's this? Oh. Suplex to Joe. Got some a hold on Joe here. Joe finding his way. Oh, elbows to the stomach of Seth. Oh, Joe trying to turn Seth around, but won't work. Seth gets reversed by Joe. And Seth wasn't doing it. Oh, Joe reverses. And a suplex. Very awkward one at that. Oh, Seth again reverses. I think Joe's trying to go for the finish and manoeuvre. That is the Coquina clutch. Oh, turn Seth around. He's finally got it in. He's locked it in. The Coquina clutch. But Seth breaks out of it immediately. Oh, Seth, he's calling for it. John reverses and turns Seth around, but Seth reverses as well. John against the corner. What's going to do here? STO 
into the ring buckle. Joe gets straight up. Looks at Seth as he does not know what's going to happen. Joe throws Seth off the top rope. And Joe going up to the top rope now. The ref looks scared for Seth's life. And Joe goes for a... Oh, he went for a top rope. Said Tom, but misses. Oh, Seth. With a... Falcon's arrow. And Seth with the cover now on Joe. One. Kick out for the counter two. Seth to the top again. Reversal by Joe. He gets out of dodge. And. Oh, Seth reverses. And flips Joe over. For a hold. Joe easily gets out of it. And a what? And a two. And a three. <laughs> oh, Seth trying to roll out the ring, but Joe stops him. Turns him round, but Seth reverses. Oh, and Joe reverses. Oh, what's Joe doing here? With the arm of Seth Rollins. Got him in a lapel lock. Come on. I'm going to have to let it go. Damn it. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, it's going to do it to Seth. Oh, Seth reverses. Oh, Seth was waiting too long there. Joe find, found a way to recuperate. And Samoa would drop. Oh, Joe with a scent on bomb. Now picks up Rollins. Oh, Florio strikes. That floors Seth. Oh, Joe reversed by Seth. Oh, what's this? Joe reverses. And. Oh, punch missed. Oh, Seth with. A takedown. What's he doing here? A standing shooting star press. Jesus Christ. Seth is not giving up tonight. Another hold. Just wrenching the neck of Sir Moa Joe. Oh, Seth. With another ripcord knee strike. But Seth not going for the cover. What is this? He goes for another one. And Seth again did another oh her shooting star press. Oh, what's this? Joe reverses Seth. And Joe waiting for Seth Rod to get up. Anna Yorinagi. Quickly picks Seth up. Turns him round. He's finally got it in. The cocky in a clutch. Seth breaks out of it immediately again. This has got to really infuriate Joe here. There we are. We're out. Nice. And a oh, flourish elbows to the chest of Seth. Oh, Joe. Oh, with a boot. Oh, Seth reverses with kicks to the knee of Joe. We might have to skip out on one matches that we have planned for tonight if we want to get this to under 40 minutes. Oh, Joe gets straight up. Oh, punches Seth and Seth reverses as well. And there we go, Joe capitalises. Going up to the top rope. Are we going to see this again? Will it work? A flying central which is missed. Seth, oh, what? oh, gets him with the knee, picks up Joe, oh, Joe reverses, and a suplex to Rollins, oh, and Joe with a, you're an argue to Seth Rollins, surely Seth can't, withstand this for much longer and the clutch has been placed once more on the neck of Seth 
Rollins as Seth taps to the Samoan submission machine. Brilliant match up there. Joe slaughtered Seth at the start. Seth found time to recuperate and get an advantage again. But Samoa Joe is all powerful. Oh no. Joe, you've won. Just take the win. Oh, Joe, right into the barricade. Joe isn't taking that win for anything right now. What's he doing? Slamming Seth against the... Oh, the hardest part of the ring. Joe climbing back into the ring like a ma maniacal psychopath. This should prove that you should never piss off the Samoan submission machine. And he's making his name well known tonight. As he's choking Seth Rollins out in the middle of the ring. Statement sent. Joe wants vengeance. And Joe wants the world Championship. <sighs> Looks like we'll have to skip out on one of our matches tonight, but let's get into the next matchup that we have. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the second big matchup of the night. Out first. Sorry, I had a bit of cap fur on me. Out. First, it's your, your Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> My hands make nice noises. <laughs> your Intercontinental Champion. Alistair Black with one of the coolest entrances ever but ladies and gentlemen let's get into well let's spray out his challenger for tonight it's not a IC title up and challenge unfortunately as Alistair has just gone through a gru I wouldn't say grueling but a very challenging steel cage match against Kevin last week but a man who didn't was this man Mr. Orton Fourteen-time world champion, former Intercontinental champion, former United States champion, former tag champion, fought two-time Royal Rumble winner, Mr. Money in the Bank, first Ballad Hall of Famer, the Legend Killer, the Apex Predator, the Viper, the Diamond of WWE, as you like to like say. Randy Orton. The other takes one RKO to end this match up, and let's see if that happens tonight. Alistair Black and Randy Orton getting set for tonight's bout, and here we go. These two men have been fighting for everything the last couple of weeks. And let's see if this matchup will pay off for both of these men. We know they've been hyping up this match for quite a couple of weeks now. It's not for the IC title because Randy does not care about titles anymore. And to be honest, I feel like Randy's one of those people, one of those very rare people that don't need a championship. Oh wait, what's this?
Hold on. Autumn knows exactly who this is. It's a fiend! <laughs> it comes behind Autumn with... Sister Abigail! This early on. And come up one, two. Autumn kicks out the counter two, but the fiend makes his message clear tonight. Jesus, holy mother of God. The Fiend smartly using Orton as the guinea pig tonight. Orton with a suplex to Alistair. And with Orton and his family are famous for, super, are famous for suplexes, especially that infamous superplex off the top rope. But the question is, what will it take for Alistair to defeat the legend tonight? And to be honest, I feel it will take everything out of Black to win. As Orton isn't the easiest cookie in the shed. He's definitely a tough cookie out there. One of the toughest ones. And he's probably one of the greatest wrestlers that will ever step foot in a ring. Or with a neck breaker. Well, an inverted RKO. Also, oh, already has Black up for vintage Randy Orton. Orton, as we've said, it only takes one RKO. Will he prove it? Oh, Alistair reverses. And Alistair with a kick and another one and a DDT to Orton. And the cover. One. Kick out of the count of one. What's Alistair doing? Into the corner and Autumn with a clothesline. Oh, throws him over his shoulder. Oh, Alistair with a knee to the face of Autumn. That has got to hurt. Oh, Autumn reverses Black. Straight back up. Showing no signs of where I tear at the moment. Autumn punching Black. And now, oh. Head against the ropes. That's got to hurt. Autumn slaps his arm on the canvas. Autumn looking pissed off tonight. And, oh, Autumn was. Autumn was trying to pull off a power slam there but missed and now a neck breaker into a pin one so I will be one of the greatest wrestlers to live how he can just maneuver around the ring and how he can just control his environment is amazing and a, a magnificent spectacle to watch and a neck breaker again so we know how maniacal Orton could be and how he can manipulate the body parts of his competitors just slowly picks off at the at the body oh and knee to the face just picks off at the body parts of his competitors like he is now as we see here oh, on the knee we know Alice has had a couple of difficulties with the last couple of weeks because of Kevin but there's nothing to be concerned about but we know if Orton goes for the body part it ain't gonna end well. But Black reverses. Oh! Tried to go for a kick, but misses. And Orton, a single leg Boston Crab. Will Alistair tap? He's so close to the ropes. Oh, but Alistair Wig just throws or kicks Orton off him. And. Oh, what's this? On the ropes. And just flings Orton back. Looks like that uh, Batista botch when Mark Henry pushed him. <laughs> Auto with an uppercut. And oh, Auto reversed again. Black doing. Black with a brain buster. Oh, I, I love that move so much. Oh, what's Black doing here? Oh, no. It's lights out because it's Black Mass. Oh, but Alistair could go for cover. Now he is. 
One, two. Oh! Austin kicks out at two and three quarters. Imagine what would have happened if Alistair went for cover straight away. Instead of recuperating his, his stat. Oh, Alistair with a top run. <laughs> salt that misses. Alistair could have won there. Oh, Austin with a neck breaker again. What's he doing here? A stomp to the stomach of Alistair Black. This is the perfect example of just manipulate the body parts and do as he pleases as he's just taking him, just nitpicking Alistair Black here. And he launches him into the corner. Austin reverses. And Black with another suplex. Obviously, we know Alistair Black's repertoire of moveset, and his moveset isn't that short. He has a wild, uh, large variety in his moveset, and also his resume may not speak for how talented he actually is. Currently, being Continental Champion, former NXT Champion. Formerly known as Tommy End. Oh, Orton again picking apart the body parts. Whilst Orton may not be the most advanced wrestler, he's just that damn good. Oh, he's going to call for it. The voices in his head are ringing. RKO! One. Two. Oh, my God. Alistair Black kicked out of the RK. Oh, oh Alistair reverses. I, I'm just shocked that he kicked out of the RKO. And is he? What's he doing here? Oh, Auto reverses Black here, and an elbow to the chest for good measures. Picks up Alistair Black. What's he gonna do here? Throws Alistair into the ropes. Let's go for Spike DDT as we know it as Vintage Randy Orton. Randy voices in his head as he goes for the RKO. He won't be kicking out of this one, I guarantee you. Randy Orton has pinned the Intercontinental Champion. This must call for an IC title match at SummerSlam, surely. We'll see what the Raw GMCM Punk thinks about this. But Orton, even though he had a nice surprise from The Fiend, he beats Alistair Black. We all know Randy Orton is one of the greatest wrestlers to live. And he proved it tonight. Could Orton be in line for an intercontinental title match? We'll find out next time. But we've got to get right into the main event. Which is next.